Alright guys, so to create endings and all that kind of stuff. So, um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to, um, here in the Google Box thing, you are going to have to type, um, on type. And you guys want to do this? I'm pretty sure. Actually, this white one right here. So you're gonna wait patiently for like ten minutes and go into the game. So this is the original GUI part. I just clicked on this one right. Here. But I'm pretty sure it's the first one called the original one, which is the right one. Let me make sure. Yep, this is the right one. So you're gonna make your GUI name here. Your frame, your frame, you guys are gonna figure out what you want to Right now. So all I gotta do is you guys just wanna press, um, you're gonna press the GUI button. So it's right here. If you, it's okay if you guys wanna zoom in for right now. Because it might be a little hard to see. So you're going to press GUI. GUI it says add UI comments. You're going to do. You're going to click on. Oh wait. I'm, you have to click. UI. Screen GUI. And look for where it is. Yep. It's at start GUI. So right here. Be a. Frame right here. Guys, want to do this? Scale that. Create another one. Just want to create one just like that. And this is exactly the exact way you want to put it. You're doing perfect right now. You're just going to create one more frame, and you're going to push it right down here, and you're going to create the plus button. You are going to add a text label, and we'll see where it says label right here. You're going to drag it right here, and I'm going to name the ending... Um, whatever I think, so you're gonna drag down here to change the name. Change the text name to a comment. Mm, I'll go with just anything you want. So I'm just gonna do boring ending. Boring ending. All right. I guys want to make this text a little larger. And also, just to be clear, guys, this is not what the frame is going to look like, obviously, because we have a lot of GUI in our face right now. So if I were to delete, example, my toolbox, as you can see in my terrain editor, it's not filling everything up. So I'll have to edit that later. But for now, we're just going to change the text size. So you want to go to the um, text area, you know, do the text size. I recommend to go to um, 100, and you can change. This color is going to turn gray-ish color, and also, as you can see, I'm slowly moving things the way it's supposed to go. I'm not too, too good at making frames, guys, but a starter tutorial for you guys because I noticed like no YouTuber really made a real actual tutorial how to do this and I know you guys love making ending games and a lot of people ask me as me being a developer hey can you teach me can, guys can you teach me how to be a um developer when it comes to endings and I'm like 
I can't explain it. <laughs> Never mind. Sorry, guys. So, I hope this video gets in the K's at least. Thousands, you know. Alright, so, this is boring. So, what are we going to do with all this GUI slash buttons on your screen? Well, you're going to, it's actually going to be, um, going to take all of this and you're putting it inside of GUI main here and you're going to click right into there everything is perfectly fine then you're going to um you're just going to press um model and you're going to click on uh, let's see spawn and then you're going to um, go right here. Anyways, we need to open up the toolbox because we are we need to do um, something with the toolbox. One last little building step. So you're going to press U and then you're going to have to find where the toolbox is. So right here you can zoom in your screen. icon that is the toolbox you're gonna press F enter, and pick the one that works best for me is this one use this one okay use this exact one doesn't have to be perfect but this is a little when it gets a little strict so you're gonna have to put this inside here which is your GUI part. And you're gonna have to put it just like so. And I want you to make sure when you look at all angles, it looks exactly like this. So once it almost looks like some sort of force field or like something cool looking, you're gonna put it right inside here. And we're gonna turn this all at the end of the tutorial. And when we, when we drag into it, it's going to look really cool when we touch it, and it's going to be an ending. So, I know you guys have been really probably begging for this, probably not on my channel since I'm a very poor YouTuber, but hopefully this gets a lot of views anyway for my hard work teaching you all these things. Anyways, this is the part that gives you the ending, because it's got GUI blocks in here, so... I mean a GUI block in here. So before we can turn this all invisible, we need to test first of all if this is the right location of size. Even me, that's kind of good at developing. Even I have to check what I have to do if I made a mistake or not. And when it comes to scripting, which maybe later on in my tutorials I can teach you guys some scripting. But we have to get a lot of subs and views for that. But um, when it comes to scripting, you're do you're. I'm gonna talk a lot about this later on, not in this tutorial, but in the future, like I was saying. There's something called debugging you're gonna probably hear about because this is where like you debug your script. But anyway, we're test running right now, and it should work great. Now. All I have to do is just wait for a second. And yeah, um, if you guys like this tutorial, I hope, hopefully, um, maybe like and um, yeah. Alright, so, go right, go to the character guys, and you guys are gonna go a little later on, right into this block, and it's going to, uh, give you a boring end. And if you think this is cool, like and subscribe. Um, I'll see y'all later um, in my stream in the future. Okay?